Hello, Cupcake Gemma here. Now, as my name would hopefully suggest, I have given you many, many cupcake recipes over the last few years. Um, absolutely loads. I can't even count them. But one thing I haven't given you, and yet one thing that you keep asking for, is a recipe for mini cupcakes. I guess because I kind of thought you'd just work it out on your own, guys. Uh, and you still ask me, so I'm going to give you a recipe for mini cupcakes. And because it's summer, I'm going to make them a nice summery flavour. And these are going to be mini peaches and cream cupcakes. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to make a yummy peachy goo. Um, I like to make like jammy things which I call goo. You've probably seen a ton of recipes with like raspberry goo and strawberry goo. This is going to be peach goo. Um, and I'm going to use that to fill the cupcakes but also to bake into the cupcakes. So I'm going to kind of ripple it like I do with my raspberry ripple cupcakes. So I'm going to use canned peaches because you can use these all year round guys. So if you happen to stumble across this video in like November and you're like, well, I can't find peaches. You could probably find them in a can. So happy days. And they're really tasty. So I'm going to start by just draining off the syrup, which I'm going to keep because we're going to do something with that later. And also secretly, I quite like to drink it. Um, so just put them through a sieve. And when you've got most of the syrup off your peaches, you want to put those into a food processor because you need to give them a whiz, otherwise they're not going to break down very well. So just whack your food processor on and whiz them up until they're all pulpy. Right, that's pretty pulp now, so I'm going to transfer that into a saucepan, because I need to reduce this a little bit. It needs to thicken up and get a lot more kind of jammy. So pop it into a saucepan. And these peaches are already pretty sweet, so I, I'm going to add sugar, but only about 50 grams. And then I'm going to get it onto a medium heat, bring it slightly to the bubble, and then simmer it for about five minutes to thicken. My peach goo was bubbling away, and it is now this lovely, thick, goopy, jammy consistency, which is just right. And I probably won't use all of that. I might just have a little bit left over for my yogurt in the morning. Brilliant. So now I'm going to get on with making my cupcake batter. Now, this is really, really simple, guys. You can adapt pretty much all of my cupcake recipes by just like halving them or, quarter, or three quartering, four quartering them, quartering them. <laughs> so this is essentially half of a regular batch of cupcakes uh, because a tray of 24 mini cupcakes basically equates to a tray of one dozen cupcakes in big land. So I've got my small bowl here. I'm also going to be using my hand mixer because it is much too small an amount to put in the big mixer because the sky's going to not reach the bottom. And as usual, I'm going to put all my ingredients in. So I've got 63 grams of self-raising flour, 63, very important. And this is another good reason why you guys need electric scales. I've also got 63 grams of caster sugar and an eighth of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and 63 grams, again, of soft, unsalted butter. And one large free-range egg. And I'm beating that together for about a minute until it's really well combined. And when that's done, you just need to then add one tablespoon of whole milk and give it a good beat. Now, this is not very peachy right now, so what I'm going to do is use the ripple effect, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is how uh, I like to do these things. I'm going to put a dollop of my peach goo into my batter, and then without mixing it through really thoroughly, just kind of scoop it up as I go so that it creates little pockets of peach goo rather than having like it all mix through everything. And now these just need to be baked at 170 degrees C. And normally for big cupcakes, I, as you know, like to bake mine for about 22, 20 to 22 minutes. These little guys only need 10 to 12 minutes. Check them at 10, touch them on the top. If they spring back nicely, then they're ready. My cakes came out of the oven and cooled down and they are now 
ready to be finished, but there's just a couple of things I need to do first. So the first thing to do, as we remembered, we saved that syrup before that we took out of the peaches, and I'm going to just lightly brush the top of each of my cupcakes with that syrup, just to give them a little bit of extra lovely peachy sweetness. Now, at the beginning, I promised that these were going to be filled cupcakes, uh, and we're going to fill them with the leftover peach goo that we made earlier, and if you've watched any of my cupcake videos, you'll know that I use an apple corer to make room for the goo. But these cupcakes are pretty small and an apple corer is just going to be much too big. So I'm going to poke holes in them using this thing. This is just an AeroPress coffee measure. <laughs> it's a bit specific, perhaps. If you've got something similar, like a chopstick, that will work. Um, anything that's um, about this size will do just to poke holes right in the middle of each cupcake. That's all my cupcakes filled, but now I want to decorate them, and I have decided to decorate them kind of so they look a little bit like tiny weeny little baby peaches. So, I have some vanilla buttercream over here, which I've made earlier, and if you want to know how to make vanilla buttercream, then I have done a fantabulous video which shows you all about it. Um, I'll put the link to that up on the screen now, so go and check that out. It shows you everything you need to know about buttercream. And I've just got a small amount here, both in white. I'm going to do one bowl, slightly orangey peachy colour, and the other bowl, a peachy pinky colour, or a pinky peachy colour. We'll see how it goes. Now, I don't want these to be stripy um, and particularly neat and tidy, and I certainly don't want them to be all the same because no two peaches are alike. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it up in my piping bag. I've got a big piping bag here with just a big fat round nozzle on the end. I'm going to build it up in there, but kind of randomly, so it's not like equal amounts on either side of the piping bag. I want it to kind of come out when it feels like it, you know? So starting with the pink, I'm just going to put a small blob right at the bottom. Give it a good shuffle. Ooh, it's already coming out, it's eager. Um, and now I'm going to pipe really neat, tidy, round little blobs onto each of my cupcakes. So that's all my cakes iced, but they're not looking very peachy yet. Well, they're looking kind of peachy, but they could look peachier. Um, so to make them fuzzy looking, I'm going to sprinkle some sugar on. I'm using caster sugar, which is really nice and fine, and they give it a kind of like fuzzy, twinkly effect. And then I'm going to finish them off with a little chocolate leaf. You can make these out of sugar paste, perhaps, if you can't find these in the shops, but I actually bought these in the shop, so you can obviously get them somewhere, um, and it's cheating, so, and I'm OK with that.
And ain't that just peachy? I think these little guys are so, so sweet. And you can apply this principle to almost all of my cupcake recipes, as I said, just by halving the recipe and baking them for slightly less time, since they're in a smaller case. It's that simple, guys. So I hope you make these. Please do. Please take pictures, put them on your Instagram feed, use hashtag Cupcake Gemma. I'd love to see how you got on. And if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, but you've enjoyed this video, and even if you haven't enjoyed it, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, just click on the link at the end. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I will be back next week. So good luck with these. Um, I'm going to just get on with eating one because it looks too cute to resist. Bye. Mm-hmm.